80 Productions. Yesterday we made soap like late in the day because we got our lye late in the day. But uh, that's what I'm doing right now, preparing the lye. People are always scared with lye. It's nothing to be scared of. They put it in your pretzels and all that type of stuff. It's food grade. Uh, it's a diluted lye solution at that too, so you don't have nothing too much to worry about. You need lye to make soap. If anybody tell you that you that that you that you can't have, that you don't have to have a lot to make soap, they lying. You know, a lot of tank got damaged. So got, I dropped it. That's why I look all crazy. Just pouring out the lye, weighing it out so that I can uh, utilize it into the water. Because I'm making that diluted lye solution. So people be scared of this, but like, get a close up right here. It is food grade. Food grade. They put it in your food. Let's see what this is at. 93. Should be fine. It's a little, it's a little cold. Put that back on there. Oh, I poured that powder yeah, already. That's all good. Okay. I do one more. I do one more. You got the next next batch ready?
a lot of people have always commented on how they like the tops and the textures. Right. They have the signature, but it's not quite like mine. You know, this is pure masterpiece beauty right here. You know, I'm the OG, so you know my wrist game is just it's so fluid. It's so fluid. So we just make these textures on the top look really, really good. So that way, you know, it's an urban eating soap. You know that it's handmade. Our hands touch these soaps in real life.